This is all about China's advancement in technology and new development taking place in the country. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you'll always be updated with our new videos. China continuously unveils new technologies and advanced development as part of their unstoppable innovation going on in the country. And today is another day that you will see China's advancement in technology and new development taking place in the country. And so, without further delay, let's get started with our number one. Number one is, Chinese government gives full support to emerging biotech industry. In the past nine years, a biotech zone in Wuhan Hubei province has become the second largest of its kind in the country. The Chinese government has recognized the potential of this emerging industry and is giving it its full support. When Wang Qi discovered Wuhan was going to create a specialized biotechnology zone nine years ago, he decided to send his biomedical electronics company to the city from Shenzhen. Watch this to find out more about the industry's recent rise. Number two is, medical robots may change the future of surgery in China. A huge demand for healthcare services along with China's speedy transformation into an aging society, has prompted Beijing to push the innovation of medical robots, such as the T-Robot, President Xi Jinping called for a robot revolution in 2014 and Beijing's blueprint for its industrial future, dubbed Made in China 2025, airmarks medical robotics for development. Number 3 is, Cheetah Mobile joins China's AI race with robotics and smart platforms. Cheetah Mobile is releasing its latest artificial intelligence products to the public at the Water Cube in Beijing. Once a cybersecurity company, CM is now joining Baidu Alibaba and Tencent in the AI arms race with the new robotics and platforms. CM is entering the AI sector through robotics and smart platforms.
Number four is China's first intelligent heavy haul train route officially begun. China's first intelligent heavy haul train officially began operating on the Shenmu Shuzhou Railway, marking a breakthrough in the development of a heavy haul freight rail. Its successful operation indicates that China has mastered the core technology in the field of intelligent freight heavy haul train control. Number 5 is China's homegrown robot helps with scoliosis surgery. A 14-year-old girl suffering from scoliosis recently received robot-assisted surgery in the North China's Liaoning province. Number 6 is Chinese scientists produced bacteria-based robot. Researchers have long dreamed for developing tiny robots that could roam about inside our bodies, delivering drugs with unprecedented precision, and hunting down and destroying cancer cells. The nanorobots were made from sheets of DNA rolled into tubes containing a blood clotting drug. On the outside, the researchers placed a small DNA molecule that binds with a protein found only in tumors. Number 7 is Construction in full swing on Xinjiang's longest highway tunnel. Construction of East Tianshan Mountain Tunnel on G575 National Expressway is in full swing in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The 11.775-kilometer East Tianxian Modern Tunnel, Xianjiang's longest, is considered as one of the most difficult projects with the highest risk in China. Number 8 is China's Xinjiang Builds Modern Road Network. China Xinjiang is accelerating the development of transportation and logistics. Currently, all cities and townships in Xinjiang are connected to expressways. The total distance of its expressway is 4,800 km. Roads that have been constructed surround basins and cross deserts and mountains. Number 9 is Northern Section of China-Russia 
East Route gas pipeline has completed. The northern section of the China-Russia East Route Natural Gas Pipeline project was completed, extending 1,067 kilometers in northeast China. The northern section of the pipeline project starts in Heilongjiang Province, connecting the city of Hehe to Changling County in Jilin Province. China will officially start receiving a large amount of natural gas from Russia through the new pipeline. Number 10 is, Firefighting Robot Appears at Internet Plus Exposition Equipped with water cannons and rescue drills, a special firefighting robot appears at China International Internet Plus Exposition in southern Chinese city of Foshan. The robot can rush to the site immediately to fight fire when fire breaks out at dangerous areas such as tunnels, warehouses, or petrochemical or oil stocks. So, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar and this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.